Mm. Okay, hold on, tell me what you got. The last bra. Silver. Mm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. So this is it. It looks so cool. I picked this over. It yes. Looks so cool. Yes, you did. <laughs> All right. See what right. else is in the box. Uh, bunch of instructions, yada yada. Hey, like any man, I'm not gonna use it. All right. So this is gonna be the main component. Turn off the power to heating and cooling system before installing. And I was thinking about leaving it on. What do you think? Alright, so. Alright, we have the screws. And that's the back piece? We have this back piece. There's the for, front. For behind here. Isn't that? So. I'm gonna try to use that, but I'm gonna have to use it. And that's about it. Alright, so we got that. Here's that. Screws clean. And that's about it. There is nothing but trash. Make sure your thermostat is off. Furnace and AC. So that's turned it off originally, but here we go, turn it back on. Turned it off. And then it's installed. Alright, apparently for your type of thermostat. You know, to each his own, everyone's different. This one be the old one. Push it down, pop it up. Have the old mercury, which is what everybody wants to replace. So. Stay around with it. And there we go. So if you look at back here. See all these wires? So carefully we have to use the flat head. Mm. It's 
to make sure we don't use that. Like I said, for it's most important, turn off the furnace. You don't want to play with these live. All right. All right, so now, I'm gonna go ahead and get our first part. Eliminate things. And the good thing about nests is they happen to include this level to make sure it's leveled at the right place. So, So, as you can see, we got this crappy looking job right here with the paint, so we're going to have to buy the paint. But, um, based on your design, how you would like, you have two options. You can just put this, you know, included flash plant. You can do it like that. Do it like that. To each his own. I mean, personally, I just want to do the nest alone. So most likely I'm going to include the face plant just so you can see me install it with it. But later on down the future, I'll probably be taking it off, keeping the nest alone, and repainting as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so. so let's get started. So now that we know what we have in mind, we're going to start off. Let's see, we keep that face paint right here. That dry paint is messing with it. And basically, we're going to have the wires hold that for us. Alright, so. Basically, every cable is self explanatory. You have the yellow, you have your green, you have your white, your red, and depending on the type of wire you use, it may be blue or black. My wires is blue, as you can see. So we're just going to go ahead and stick every cable where it goes. Now, Ness was nice enough to show us every cable right here. So with the yellow, yellow one, yellow two, based on your system, we have the green. Not sure what this is. Red one, I guess, and red two. Then we have our ground, our common, and our white. So we're going to go ahead and continue this install. And let's start with green. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you've seen that, but as you pop every cable in, it should indent. So we have that. As you can see right here, that went down. So we went ahead and broke that. So most likely I'm gonna have to restrip that wire. And now here's where it gets tricky. You have the red one and not sure what to do with them, red one or red two. Honestly, I mean you could try it each and out, but I'm going to try it on, why not, let's try it on the second one. If you have any issues, we'll just take it off and then put it on the first one. Alright, and then pause it. Earlier, it's dumb enough to break this cable, so we have our basic wire strippers. I'm going to strip that. There you go. Back in the game. So let's just push this one in. Right. 
So we have everyone where it goes. Just double checking. Come there, there. Come there. Go there. Okay. So how's that looking? You did a pretty good job. Thing is to your liking, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and install the face paint full right now, but most likely in the future, I will be changing it. So with the included level, help you position where you want. I mean, included with the instruction, they do have phone numbers for you to reach out to professional technicians should you not feel comfortable enough to do this. But see a couple, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, save you a couple bucks. Again, to each his own. So with the added level, you just want to move it around, make sure that's right in the center, and just finish tightening the screws. That's about it. We have that. See how that is? Now, might want to just push the cables a little and stuck it in there. Just careful not to break anything. Last thing you want to do is rip your wires. To start all over again. All right, so how does that look? So, basically, is that the finishing touch? That will be it. All right, so we're going to run through the initial uh, setup. So you want to choose your language depending on your location. We have two different English. We have the UK English and we have the US English. We have Espanol, Frances, which is, I guess, CA for Canada, France, and Netherlands. So we are in the U.S., so we're going to simply just tap on the thing. Originally, I thought this was like a touch display, but come to find out this actually has kind of a button filling. So your location. So your location, less and less set up local time and determine for the forecast. So we're going to put, again, based on where you're at. I'm in the U.S., I'm going to go ahead and put on our uh, zip code. And there you go. You should put on your zip code. is going to ask you for your location. Uh, so we have single family home, multifamily apartment. Okay, so I guess this is a type of location home. We have a single family home. Where's your thermostat? Mine's is in the dining room. So depending on where you have it, we have... Kids room, kitchen, living room, master bedroom, office upstairs, anywhere you want to type. But uh, we have ours in the dining room. So you want to go ahead and set time. Currently, my phone's being used. So, uh, hey Google, what time is it? 3.24. So it is uh, 3.24. And we are in 2018. She said we're going to put 25, put a minute ahead. Hopefully this has a auto setup. And basically we're in Eastern. So it's going to ask you a couple questions. Um, you're a homeowner or pro, so we're just going to put homeowner. Uh, equipment detected, we have the common heat, we're basically just showing you what cables you installed. There's that little red cable I was telling you about earlier. Should there be a problem, I'll just switch it over, but um, basically telling me my setup. 
and some of you have a heating, cooling, and a fan system. So what is your fuel source? Depending, they have oil, geothermal, which I do not know what that is. Propane oil or gas. Tepid heating do you have? We have forced air. Info. So inflow radiant, radiated more floor. So we're in floor. And then temperature. So shouldn't this be heating according to your home? Heating. What are the lowest high temperature you will like? Heat to okay. Seems like these are some uh, equal saving settings. I'm gonna go ahead and test the system. So it says Nest will now configure your system. Thermostat is not connected. Once you connect it, you'll be able to run a system. Test your system from settings. Your adjustment has helped learn the preferred temperature and schedule. Okay. Basically, it's just telling me a couple things and finish.